Hi everyone! I'm gonna try to do a quick video of this Louis Vuitton Pochette Metis in cream or creme. It's the first version because it has an interior of a stripe like textile. I'll just show you. And the newer version has a brown either microfiber or suede lining. I'm not sure. I don't know when this came out, but I've had it. I use it casually. Um, for what two years I don't baby it but I do like if I go out and I notice a stain out at the end of the night I do wipe it off which is what I did before I filmed this video I found a few like I don't know oil residue marks I wiped it off with a microfiber cloth with water nothing else and they went away so I think arm front leather is pretty durable if you wear it hard maybe the embossing will fade but if as you can see this is pretty the embossing is still deep the glazing looks good, right? Corners may rub and then things fade, which it might right here. But I'm not terribly concerned. The pebbling and the embossing everywhere else is so beautiful. There's some weird spots there and fading, but not concerned. The handle looks good. The glazing over here looks great. Corners look good. There's no feet on this bag, but it's so structured, it stays sitting up when you put it on a table. Like that. The embossing is upside down on the back, but it's still so deep. Hardware is still shiny. And the only maybe fading is here, but that's such a small place that I'm not really concerned. The gold hardware there looks good. The Louis Vuitton engraved in all the rivets. And the crossbody strap is also this excellent soft leather. No embossing there, but it's that pebbled look. It's adjustable. It does go crossbody, and I'm 5'4", and it's perfect. It's at the hip. I'll try to post mod shots. Very shiny yellow gold with Louis Vuitton engraving on the clasps. Glazing not an issue here at all. Soft and comfortable on the shoulder. And those look good. The wear on the front clasp might be an issue. And I've heard other people say that if they're having trouble closing it, you end up searching all over for the clip to fit right in, which is true. It can, because that little circle is the only thing you're aiming for. So there's some wear. Oops, I just rub my oily finger around but I did wipe it down before filming and there's not too many scratches because there's when you close it the hardware isn't a crazy large amount the Locky BB that I have another review on that has a terrible amount of wear on the gold clasp so it's a very secure clasp since it has to fit right in I still got protective sticker on there that looks good like that's not a lot of scratches just just oil the interior is all good here. Stitching back here has been great. I don't know if anyone has had trouble with those things popping. And I keep it stuff like this to make sure that it doesn't get squishy or creased in storage. So the basics of the bag, the dimensions, are 10 in width with six and a half in height of that middle compartment. Um, the first compartment is flat, so I won't measure it, but I'll show you how much it expands when I review it. And this is two inches. And again, this, this section is just the flat pocket. But to start with the flat pocket, it is a good zipper size, right? It's not something small where you would have to slide something in sideways. You can fit, it goes right over there to the edges. You can fit, I tested this, an Agenda PM in there. This is the PM, okay? It fits. It When you zip it up, you can see a little bit of a bulge, but in the grand scheme of things, you could barely tell. That's like a really good use of that flat pocket. So you could probably fit any phone that's out right now because it expands so far. And this is 10 inches, remember, so it'll fit any plus or super plus jumbo phone. 
and I don't think, well, maybe a phone is as thick as this Agenda PM, but it will fit. So that's an easy grab and go place because this will be sitting against your body if you don't want to fiddle with the clasp to get a phone or a wallet. So that is a good thing. So let me see if I have a Victorine wallet. It's my favorite. Maybe I should review it, but I love it so much. It would fit in there as well if you're like, if you really want to. And it does bulge it a bit, but not enough that I'd be concerned. I would do it if I needed to, but I'm minimal when I pack my bags. So I will show you what I would normally fit. And then, then I just maybe put my phone in here so that it's easy access. I'm filming with my phone too, so I can't really say how that fits in the whole videos, but let's see. Okay, this is realistically what I would do. Have my Victorine, my little key clay, and maybe my battery pack. Maybe. That's a maybe. I usually charge my phone every day. I would have my knickknacks of hand lotion, sanitizer, a lip gloss or two. So much room here, right? This is the flat pocket in the front, which you think would be flat, but this bag is so great, it expands so much. And this is the spray alcohol. That all fits. This is literally all I'd fit. I mean, take out. Maybe nowadays I'd pack wipes and a mask. Not a problem. But let's say you guys want to be more organized than me. I would have my knickknacks in my um, mini pochette. Let's maybe, maybe I'll bulk this thing up. Right now it's just catch-all for peppermint halo, Tylenol, Tide pen. Okay, let's say I put a, that lipstick and the sanitizer so it doesn't spill all over my bag. So this is a very bulky mini pochette. Looks so small. I would probably put that in here. Oh, that's bulky. Maybe if I put that there. It will for sure, oops, close. How does that look? Let's see. Looks good. Feels heavy. But I would wear it that way. I'm not too concerned about much bulk. It's not too bulky to me. It's just doing its job of <laughs> holding things. A bit of weight to it, but that's not bad. I would do that. So, to recap. Ugh. This doesn't usually cause problems opening when I'm wearing the bag, weird. That's pretty minimal. That's a Victorine, a mini pochette with a lot of goodies, a clay, battery pack, wipes, and a mask. And that, that's a lot of stuff for me. Ooh, let's do the water bottle test and see if this thing can fit a water bottle. And I'm gonna give it a chance by putting it in the main compartment. Standard. 500 ml. <laughs> it fits. I can go to Disney World and stay hydrated with things in this flat um, front pocket, which, as I said, is flat but expands so much. And I'm going to give credit to the back pocket as well, which you think is just a slip pocket. Some bags only allow a card holder, but this thing, let's see, can almost, it fits an agenda PM. It goes the width of the bag, which is 10 inches, so it can fit any wallet and room. Okay, I'd never do that, but let's see. Oh, that's really bulky. I don't think it'll close. Oh my gosh. It will. There's a water bottle in there, guys. <laughs> it's in there. Oh, it's heavy, but it fits. Could you tell? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. I've never done that before, but that's why I call it the water bottle test. So for sure you can pit, pit, fit a pair of sunnies. You could fit so much. Okay, let's try this. 
a Chanel O coin case thing, an LV Zippy. Oh, that'll close, right? I just closed it earlier. Yep. Okay, this thing is stuffed. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a lot. And let's see if it also would fit the pochette metier. Yes, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, do you guys want to buy this bag now? It fits so much. If you're reading and watching this as a review, like, do it. Let me know what color you get. Let me know if it's a monogram or the reverse monogram. <laughs> it's a good bag. I love the compartments. They're easy to get into, no zippers, and nothing that's impractical. Like, you may not want to fit your Agenda PM. You could just put a card holder in there. It'll fit. Look how big that is. And it doesn't bulge out the structure of the bag. It's convenient. It can go crossbody. It's a good bag. And Empreinte is just so beautiful that how could you say no? Let's see, one more trial. I'm gonna see this full wallet. So a full Sarah wallet from LV. It can fit in the front. It for sure can fit here with tons of room. I don't know that it will fit here, no. Or yes, yes. Oh God, but see that's where I would risk um, too much stress on those tiny little stitches there. So I would not wanna do that normally. But for those of you who can't downsize from a full wallet, um, let's say I had my pochette mini, I mean mini pochette, and a battery pack and a clay. Oh, fit. Didn't, didn't mean to do that, but I guess I could fit my other knickknacks. Sunglass case for sure will fit. You've got. A lot of height left in the bag. Yes. So that's a full LV Sarah wallet in there with a packed mini pochette. See all that? I could fit more lippies in there. Do you guys like to carry a lot of lip gloss products? They could fit there. They could fit here. This bag fits so much. So... I hope you found that video useful. The last thing I'm gonna compare the pochette metis to is this YSL envelope bag in medium. Just for a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, well, that's the top. Let's do this. So the pochette metis is a bit bigger, wider. It is, that's why they say you can't close it when it's empty. Taller. And it's just different in terms of depth because it has three compartments and the envelope bag is only one. I have another review on this envelope bag if you ever want to watch. But yeah. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you get the bag, let me know. I'd love to see your collection. Okay, thank you.